What's up guys, it's that guy with the movies back here again wearing this sweet Friday the 13th shirt. So um, today we're going to go thrifting at uh, Savers and uh, Goodwill. So um, let's go there and uh, we'll see what they got. Who knows what they have. Wow, what a haul. So, um, this is a haul from today. So, um, this is the Savers Pile right now. I only got four things there. And, um, I'll save the Goodwill Pile for after. Um, so, um, let's see what we got for, uh, from Savers. So, um, First thing I got up there was uh, The Last Castle with Robert Redford, James Gandolfini, Mark Ruffalo, and Delroy Lindo. Um, this one isn't really uh, worth too, too much, but um, I just kind of wanted to get it just because I see it everywhere, and uh, I was kind of curious about it. So, if you like this movie, let me know about it, and uh, let me know how it is. So, um, yeah, Last Castle. The next thing I got there was Fame. Uh, this is the red snap case version. This one's actually uh, hard to find or rare, I guess uh, you could say. So, um, actually, I'll just move these right there so you don't see what uh, the next movies are. Um, it's in uh, fairly good condition, I guess. It's just kind of the front's all like chipped, but um, <coughs> it's got some special features on it and. Um, this is actually pretty cool because I've never seen like a snap case like besides black, but um, I've seen this particular uh, edition of Fame before. Um, but there you go. So um, really, really uh, nice. It's kind of a little out of the blue to have that. Next one I got up there was uh, Saint Elmo's Fire. Uh, surprisingly, didn't have this one in uh, my collection, but um, yeah, some more bonus features. There is the inside, and um, these ones were uh, fairly good condition for all these, but um, Saint Almost Fire classic, uh, Joe Schumacher Brat Pack movie, so um, yeah. Uh, the last one I got there was uh, The Blair Witch Project. Uh, this isn't one I see uh, too often, so I just knew I had to get this one. And um, there you go, there's the inside. And uh, this one's actually probably the worst condition out of all of them. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's uh, some pretty uh, pretty uh, medium level scratches, I guess you could say. But um, I'm sure it'll still play. Did I? Yeah. Okay. So um, that was it for the <clears throat> the uh, savers pile. So let's go on to the uh, goodwill pile. And boy, oh boy, what a binge it was. Um. So. Here we go. Here we go with the Goodwill. So, um, I'm actually going to start off with the Blu-ray that I got there. And uh, this one will be tying in with uh, kind of the theme for this Goodwill because they had a lot of this here. Uh, so, the, uh, the Blu-ray I got there was True Grit with uh, John Wayne, Glenn Campbell, and uh, Kim Darby. And, um, and also, uh, co-stars Robert Duvall as well. So, um, 
yeah, uh, classic movie. They go in in case you wanted to see the inside. But, um, classic movie. Uh, I have the uh, 2010 version, the Coen Brothers version with uh, Jeff Bridges. So uh, this is a nice one to add to the collection as well. <coughs> um, before we uh, get to, I guess, the classic stuff, we're just going to go over the, uh, kind of, I guess, the newer stuff. So um, first newer one I got there was House Arrest with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Kevin Pollack. Uh, it also has uh, Jennifer Tilly, Christopher McDonald, uh, Wall Shawn as well. And uh, this one is actually rare and out of print. It goes for about, um, what was it, about 25 to about 30 bucks online. So I'm um, getting some big money for this one. Um, I guess it kind of sounds interesting, I guess. But um, nonetheless, it's still um, a really, uh, like a DVD that's worth tons of money. So um, I'll just put it back over here. Uh, I got Dirty Dancing there, the uh, Ultimate Edition with the uh, slipcase, with the clear slipcase. Um, awesome edition of this movie. Uh, just It's just like that. And uh, this is the actual case if you wanted to see it. And uh, a bunch of bonus features on here. Um, really, uh, really, really nice. And uh, this one was in mint condition too. So, uh, two discs, and there is the guide. It's still got all the inserts in it, which is surprising. Or actually, there's just only one insert, so, um, yeah. Really, really, uh, nice find. I was surprised I didn't have this in my collection. Uh, next one is, uh, Bake, the extended edition, uh, which runs for approximately 130 minutes. I don't know if I'd watch a, a comedy movie that long, but, um, it's still, uh, nonetheless, really nice to um, have this on here, but uh, it's even got the theatrical cut, so the 104-minute uh, cut, which is perfectly fine for a comedy. And uh, you get the two discs, too, which is really nice. Um, having a lot of uh, bonus features on here. Classic, classic movie, Tom Hanks, Robert Loggia. Um, really, really nice. I actually don't see that one very often. I know, right, like, man, like, my, like, Arguables kind of suck, so, um... Next one I got was, uh, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, the, uh, Chosen Edition. Uh, this one is actually rare and out of print. It goes for about, uh, 15 bucks online, I believe. Um, I've actually never, uh, seen this one, so, um, leave a comment down below if, uh, uh, so you can let me know how it is. So, um, I heard it's supposed to be a really funny movie, so, um, I might have to check it out soon. And the final, uh, I guess, newer one is uh, another line, the Clint Eastwood collection. I'm actually going to start collecting these ones. Uh, is The Rookie with uh, him and Charlie Sheen in it. Uh, this is the snap case version. This one's actually rare, um, which uh, I'm surprised because these Clint Eastwood ones don't really go for a lot of money. But um, this one is mint, as you can see right there. So, um, yeah, that was all the... Uh, new stuff that I got there and let let us <coughs> let us go into the uh, binges here so I guess you could kind of probably already saw one but uh, whatever uh, so the first one I got up there was uh, High Plains Drifter with uh, Clint Eastwood and um, this one actually kind of starts off the uh, Clint Eastwood uh, theme I guess you could say um, but this one was mint and these were all in uh, pretty good condition. Uh, some of them were decent, but uh, most of them were really, really uh, good condition. This is actually the original DVD, as you can see by the bottom banner there. Uh, this is from 1998, so um, nice. Uh, next one I got, there's probably the oldest one I got, uh, Winchester 73 with uh, James Stewart and Shelley Winters, part of the Universal Western Collection. <coughs> Sorry. But, um, there you go. So, um, really, really nice. And, uh, the next one I got there was The Odd Couple with, uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. This one is actually rare and out of print. So, um, yeah, so, uh, really, really nice. I believe it goes for around, I think, like, 10 to 12 bucks. Not too, too much, but, um, still a fairly, uh, decent price. 
To Kill a Mockingbird with uh, Gregory Peck, classic, have to have it. Um, but like running my fingers across it, like it feels brand new and uh, mint condition. Movie to have, I guess, kind of. Uh, another Clint Eastwood one, The Outlaw Josie Wales. Uh, this is just the original Snapcase edition with the uh, insert still in there, like the DVD catalog. Or basically kind of like, uh, it's an old advert where you can buy all the old Snapcase DVDs. So kind of, uh, memories uh, long gone, I guess. Because um, you don't really, uh, you don't see Snapcases anymore. So, uh, which is kind of disappointing. I know a lot of people hate them, but um, I kind of I kind of have a special place in my heart for them. But, um, yeah, the outlaw Josie Wills, Clint Eastwood, have to have it. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde, one of the, I think this is one of the very first, uh, um, Snapcase DVDs, or, like, one of the first DVDs in general. So this is, uh, 1997, so, um, it actually still has all the, uh, original inserts in here, so you get the original coating, and then you get some care tips for your stuff. And, um, this one actually goes for about 30 bucks online, rare, out of print, so, uh, really nice. Uh, Paint Your Wagon, another Clint Eastwood film. Uh, this one actually goes for a pretty decent amount, uh, about 25 bucks online. Uh, this is the uh, greatest version, but uh, Lee Marvin, Clint Eastwood, can't go wrong with that. Uh, starting to collect Clint Eastwood's movies. Anatomy of a Murder, a uh, really, really good find here. I was actually stoked I found this. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the best movies of all time, and uh, it is mitt and uh, really, really, really nice uh, artwork by uh, Saul Bass, actually. He actually uh, designed a lot of the uh, posters and that. Uh, so just look him up online and uh, you can see some of his art in uh, Google Images and that. So uh, really nice artist. Uh, we've got Val Valdez is coming with Burt Lancaster, uh, one of the uh, Western Legends uh, MGM collection. This one was also... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, whatever. Um, thought this is coming, Burt Lancaster. Um, just another old Wesker to add to the collection. And uh, another Clint Eastwood collection snap case here. Uh, Kelly's Heroes. Uh, with an all-star cast, actually, you get Clint Eastwood, Telly Savalas, John Reckles, Carol Connor, and Donald Sutherland in this. And uh, this one was actually in mint condition. There you go. So, um, yeah, and uh, a classic, classic movie here, Bullet with Steve McQueen, uh, the original Snapcase version. Uh, I actually thought it had uh, all the other uh, stuff in it, like the inserts, but um, one of the best car chase movies in existence, and um, yeah, a really nice uh, shiny slipcase, or not slipcase, uh, Snapcase too. Uh, then we've got... Uh, 310 to Yuma, this is the original version with Glenn Ford and Van Heflin. Still have to get the uh, remake with Russell Crowe in it. Uh, this is the original, uh, what was this from? 1957, black and white. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, it's still got all the inserts in it. So, uh, nice find. Uh, the next one I got up here is uh, another Clint Eastwood one, Pale Rider. Uh, one of his uh, newer westerns, 1985. And uh, mint condition as well. Uh, this one actually had a couple of scratches, but uh, other than that, it's uh, basically mint. So, um, really, really nice. So, another Clint Eastwood one to add to the collection. Uh, then I've got uh, ooh, uh, The Far Country with Gene Stewart, another uh, Universal Western collections. Um, not too, too much to say about this one, but... Um, there you go, another uh, James Stewart Western or movie to add to the collection. So, um, I actually might start doing a uh, classic collection too. Just whatever like old movies I can find for really cheap and just uh, start collecting them. And uh, yet another Clint Eastwood one to add to the collection, Joe Kidd. Another one of the uh, Universal Western collections. This one is actually a uh, newer reprint. So, I'm um, not really... Uh, too, too, I guess, excited about that, and, um, 
yeah, another Clint Eastwood Western to add to the collection, or to add to the Western collection, the Classic collection, or the Clint Eastwood collection. And then we've got, uh, oh, sorry about that, uh, Shane, uh, another classic uh, Western, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, this one is actually um, mint, so um, really, uh, really nice. And the last one I got up there was uh, the Fortune Cookie with Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau. Another one to add to the Classic Collection. And uh, this is actually a vintage Classic Collection, so another uh, collection from MGM. And this one is actually uh, rare and out of print and uh, goes for a little bit on uh, eBay. So um, just to let you know about that. So that's it for this um, haul. So um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to see that. So, um, thanks again for watching. Tune in next time. Stay scared.